Hey there, thank you for joining me for today's practice. My name is Paula. Uh, for today's practice, you'll need a yoga belt or a scarf, anything or towel, like something that you can hold that will do a little bit of work through uh, the beginning of the class just to help open up a bit of the upper body and the side body. Um, so yeah, let's make a start. So we just have your scarf or your strap nearby and we'll just make a start standing in a Tadasana position, just with the feet a little bit wider. So hip distance apart. Bring the palms and hands together in front of your chest. And when you're ready, just closing down the eyes. Taking some time here to center yourself. Feeling the weight of the, weight of the body dropping down through the feet. Just trying to have a sense of spreading through the soles of the feet. And as the weight presses down, drawing the energy up through the legs, a little micro bend through the knees, we're not locking out through the backs of the knees, tailbone dropping down, length all the way up and out through the crown of the head. Softening through the face, softening through the shoulders. And perhaps there's an intention that you want to bring with you into this practice, whatever that might be. Just allowing that intention to fill you. And then when you're ready, let's uh, open up the eyes. Just releasing the arms down, picking up your strap and just working out if you want to have it. If you've got a strap, you might want to lengthen it all the way out long or you might just want to fold it in half and you may need to adjust it as you go along, just seeing how you go. Um, so we're just going to start with holding the strap forward, pressing down through the feet. And it's taking an inhale to lift the arms up above the head and then starting to press the arms back without letting that, that spine pop forward too much. So you're really trying to feel into that, the upper uh, parts of the chest into the armpits. It's opening up here, drawing the lower ribs in and then releasing the arms back down. We're going to take an inhale to bring those arms back up again. Try to press back just until you feel that little bit of resistance. We'll just hold here for a moment, find the breathing. And then let's release it back down. And we'll just go again, taking an inhale, just taking those arms back until you feel that little bit of resistance. We'll just hold it here for a breath. And then bring it back down. And then we're going to start to bring the arms all the way back behind you. But if it, that feels too strong, then just come back to where you can. Don't feel like you have to force anything. You might need to open those arms out a little bit wide on your strap. Taking an inhale all the way back behind you and then coming forward once again. And we'll just start to connect that with the breathing. So inhale to take it back and then exhale to bring it forward. And we'll just start to move through a little bit more. Just move at a pace that feels like it's okay for you. So just be really mindful. If you need to go slow, feel free to go slow. Just noticing what's happening through that shoulder girdle as you go through this rotation. You might find some bits feel a little bit more stuck than others. So you might want to slow down as you move through that part of the shoulder uh, rotation. We'll just finish off the last one and then coming back uh, forward for a moment. Take the arms up above the head now, taking an inhale. As you exhale, we're going to pull this right hand down, take you over into a side bend and then turn the eyes, look up towards uh, the left upper arm, up towards the ceiling and then inhale to come back to centre. Exhale, 
pulling that left hand down, press down through the outer edge of that right foot as you look up towards the ceiling, and then inhale, come back to center. Exhale, pulling that right hand down, press down through the outside edge of that left foot as you look up towards the ceiling, and then inhale back to center. And again, pulling that left hand down, right outer edge of the foot, pressing down, and inhale back to center. We're gonna keep going, but let's take a little curtsy. So step that left foot behind you, same action with the upper body, and come back to center. Stepping that right foot back behind you, looking up towards the ceiling, left hand's pulling down, and inhale back to center. And again to the right, center, and to the left and center. Let's just hold it here in the center. We're going to uh, take the right hand onto the upper back. So the right hand is going to be on the upper back with your strap and then take your left hand and start to walk the left hand up. We're finding our Gomukhasana hands and if you don't need your strap then you could release your strap and just take your monkey grip if that's what you usually do. Just take a moment, just holding the center, draw the, the lower ribs in. You might find that a little bit of space starts to open up and you can walk the left hand up a little bit more. Try not to have that right elbow to the side. So you're kind of hugging in, draw the, elbow, uh, the lower ribs in. Either decide to hold here, or if you'd like to, we're going to take our Uttanasana holding Gomukhasana arm. So taking an inhale, soften through the knees and fold forward. Just letting the torso rest down onto the thighs. Find the breath. I'm just noticing if there's any space that's opening up. We'll take one more full breath. Very gently releasing those arms. Keep holding onto your strap and then taking a spinal roll to come all the way up to standing. Swapping it around so we're holding the strap with the left hand now. Taking that left hand onto the upper back. I'm just thinking about that, instead of that left elbow pointing out to the side, so drawing that left elbow in towards the side of the left, uh, left side of the, the face. Take that right hand back holding onto the strap and walking that right hand up the strap. Softening the lower ribs in towards the spine. It's taking a few moments holding here in the center. And it might feel easier on one side and the other. Just being mindful if you need to back out from one side a little bit more or alternatively, you might be able to go in a bit deeper. And your choice here, either staying here or we're going to fold into Uttanasana, taking an inhale and then exhale, soften through the knees and just folding forward, keep holding onto the strap. Finding your breath, relaxing the back of the neck. So make sure you're not holding your head up. Breathing into that rising sensation in the body. It's particularly the shoulder, that right shoulder area here. Or it might be somewhere else for you. Last couple of breaths. When you're ready, gently releasing the arms, letting the arms relax all the way down. And let's just pop the strap off to the side. Just taking a few moments, just letting the whole upper body release down. Taking an inhale, and then as you exhale, soften through the knees and take a spine roll to come all the way up to standing. Shifting towards the back edge of the mat, standing in your 
with your feet hip distance apart, arms down by your side, press down through the feet as you reach the arms up, looking up towards the thumbs, take an inhale, and then exhale, forward fold into your Uttanasana, feeling free to bend through the knees here, relax the hip, walk your hands out into your down facing dog. Couple of breaths in your down facing dog, spreading into the fingers and pressing down through the knuckles uh, of all 10 fingers. Coming down to the knees, releasing the tops of the feet down, trying to keep the hips over the knees. Let's walk our hands forward, coming into your Anahata Asana, either chin or forehead down. Just see what feels right for you today. Keep pressing down through the shin bones. Trying to relax the sternum down towards the mat. At the same time, think about the armpits gently rolling into face one another. So we're not just collapsing through the shoulder girdle. Staying connected with your breathing. And then shifting forward onto your belly. Feet hip distance apart, pressing down through the tops of the feet. Taking your fingertips out to either side. So coming into your striking cobra here. We're going to take an inhale, pressing down through the fingertips, unfurling the spine up. And then exhale to fold back down. And again, inhale to unfurl up. And then exhale to come down. And again, inhale to come up. Exhale to come down. And now this time as you come up, turn the head to the right, take an inhale, and then bring the head back to center as you come back down. Head turning to the left, inhale to come up, head center, and releasing down. Just one more time, right and left. To the right, inhale, center, and release. And to the left, inhale, center, and release. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Legs come together and press back into your Japanese seated position. It's coming to the center of your mat. If it's uncomfortable to sit in your Japanese seat for any reason, you could come to cross legs, that's totally fine. Just take a moment, cupping that left hand into the right, tips of the thumbs slightly touching. So allowing the eyes to close down. Just noticing any residual sensation in the body. And then let's open up the eyes. Release the hands, take the hands back behind you and let's interlace the fingers and have the right thumb on top of the left for this one. We're gonna try to press the heels of the hands together, draw the hands down, squeezing the, uh, uh, the upper arms in towards one another, lifting the chest, lifting the eyes for a moment, taking an inhale. And then exhale, coming back upright with the torso and then bringing both hands over to the right hand side of the waist, drawing that right elbow in. Keep looking straight ahead. And then let's drop the right ear down to the right shoulder, feeling free to close down the eyes. Just breathing into that left side of the neck, drawing the tip of the left shoulder away from the left ear. And then inhale, bring the head back up to centre, releasing those arms. Give the shoulders a few circles out. And then taking an inhale, as you exhale, shift the weight forward, turn the palms to face uh, down and fingers pointing back and feet just hip distance apart for a moment. And then as you exhale, C curving through the spine, maybe a little micro bend through these elbows so you're not locking out the elbows, drawing the navel in, and then sitting back into your Japanese seat feet together. Taking those hands back behind you again. This time let's have the left hand over the right. So we're just swapping the interlace around, drawing the upper arms towards one another, draw the hands down to the mat, lifting the sternum, lift the eyes. And if it feels comfortable, you might let your head relax all the way back. And then coming back upright. Draw, bring those hands over to the left side of the waist now and drawing that left elbow in. 
and then dropping the left ear down to the left shoulder. Tip of the right shoulder moving away from the right ear now. Check in with your breathing. Just listening in and noticing if there's any space that starts to open up along that right side of the neck and right shoulder. And then bringing the head back up to centre, releasing those arms. Once again, just giving the shoulders a few circles. Taking an inhale. And then as you exhale, shift the weight forward, turning the palms to face towards the knees, feet and knees, hip just a little bit more open. And then C curve the spine, draw the navel in, tucking the chin in. And then releasing, sitting back. And let's just open, uh, sit over to one side and extend the legs out long. And we're going to lie down onto the back. Just allowing the upper back to rest down. And we're going to take the arms out to our cactus arms here, just keeping uh, the shoulder blades down, bringing the legs up to your 90 degree position here, taking an inhale. And then as you exhale, try to keep that left shoulder blade down as you drop the knees over to the right, turning the head to look over the left shoulder. And if it feels comfortable, you might close down your eyes. Just allowing the legs to be heavy and that left shoulder blade heavy. And then taking an inhale, Bring the legs back through centre, dropping them over to the left this time. Trying to keep that right shoulder blade down, head looking towards the right. Noticing if there's any space, particularly on that exhale, just to soften and release. And then inhale the legs back through centre. Just releasing the arms down, placing the feet down. And let's just bring the soles, the feet together for a moment, letting the knees open out, arms a little bit away from the body. Noticing what's in contact with the mat. And imagining those points getting a little bit heavier with each exhale. And whenever you're ready, you can extend the legs out long. Just moving into your Shavasana. Just making yourself feel comfortable. Allowing the whole body to soften. Soft face, soft belly. Letting go and resting here for the next few minutes.
please feel free to stay resting here for as long as you would like to. Thank you so much for joining me for today's practice. I'll see you next time. Namaste. Namaste.